What's up, folks? I'm Don. This is Rock of the Country. And today we're rocking the bluegrass because it's the Petersons. You saw the title. I had done a couple of reactions to the Petersons a month or two ago or three. And some of you folks were like, loved it. Loved the Petersons. And said, Don, you've got to cover, you got to react to some of their original stuff. So I'm reacting to uh, one of their original songs. I don't know it, but I saw the title and a title like Hey Grandpa. And so many of you folks, and this is really beautiful to me when I see this, that you'll comment on a song that I've reacted to or reviewed. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of my papa or my grandpa or my grandfather or my granddad. You know, we have all the different names. But how much your grandfather meant to you or your grandmother. And I love seeing that family bond. Like I didn't have that that close because in my family, you know, it just wasn't that way. Everybody has different things in life. So this Hey Grandpa, I don't know what this is going to be about. My grandfather on my father's side was hilarious. He was a very funny, funny guy. He, he was very strict with my father. My father and my grandfather did not have a good relationship uh, because he was a, my grandfather was a very stern, strict man, according to everybody who knew him. But when it came to the grandkids, he would do things like at the dinner table, we'd be Thanksgiving dinner, and he would drink tea, hot tea, and he put a spoon in there and nonchalantly put that super hot spoon on my hand. And I'd be like, ow! And then he'd be like, Donald, stop it! You know. And then I might even get in trouble with my parents for acting up. And he liked to mess with me like that. And that kind of stuff, I love that. I love this family. I love this group. I love the way they present themselves. I just... The three or four reactions I've done to their stuff, I've loved, I've loved all of it. <laughs> Outdoors, I love that. Hey, Grandpa. I wish you were here today I'm on my way to play another show I bet you'd love it Folks are sitting on some hay So I'll pull out my fiddle and I'll rise up my bow What I'd give to see you sitting in the front row really knows how to deliver a line. Hey Grandpa, there's this boy I like a lot. He loves fishing, working hard, and Barney fight. I wish you could be here to see me walking down the aisle. Can you believe I'm gonna be somebody's wife? It don't matter, but in case you'd like to know, I saved a spot for you by Grandma in the front row. Ah, uh, and she brought Grandma in, of course. That's a beautiful thing. The father-daughter relationship to me is a beautiful thing. And here we have the grandfather-granddaughter relationship. And it's just, they're just special relationships. They're all special, but... It's, uh, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful thing to see this family. I just, it's beautiful. There's the mother on bass, too, in the back. Now I know you're somewhere better, and this is how it's got to be. And you wouldn't want us crying anyway. But I'm always going to carry a part of you and me. Oh, I sure am missing you today. What's it like where you are now? Is it everything we dreamed it ought to be? I wish I could see you without the pain that took 
took you down Free to run and free to laugh and free to breathe Well, I'll admit some days I just can't wait to go I can't help it, there's a longing in my soul Oh, deep inside, somehow I think I know when it's my turn, you'll be there waiting in the front row. That was nice. Reminds me of Brad Paisley's song. Somewhere better, and this is how it's gotta be. The ones we love, we never really lose. So I'm always gonna carry a part of you in me. But today I've gotta say I'm missing you. Hey Grandpa, I wish you were here today I'm on my way to play another show ah, That's just beautiful. Um, yeah, I know I've read from the comments about the family, you know, uh, Christian family, they're tight. And that's a beautiful thing. So you bring in the spiritual element, uh, spiritual element, you know, like, and everybody kind of wonders, you know, what comes after this. Even atheists whom I speak with, and I have no problem with somebody who's an atheist. I, I like nice people. I don't like jerks. I, if you're a Christian and you're a jerk, I don't like you. I just, just my take, you know, it doesn't matter. I seriously, I'll handle my own theological with philosophical beliefs. But when it comes to wondering, about what comes after this life. One of the unfortunate parts of the package is that we've got to die when we to find out whether we're right, wrong. Or there's a very, I mean, there's no way we have a lock on what's coming next. There's just, you don't know what it would look like. You don't know, you know, if there is a heaven where there's no pain, sorrow, tears, death. That isn't even something we can imagine because every single one of us lives with pain, sorrow, tears, and death in this life. By the time you're in kindergarten, as Anne Lamott says, you can write a book on how hard life is and then flash to the future. But I love this could be like a partial wedding song. Wouldn't be your first dance, but it's about I can't believe I'm getting married. I'm going to be somebody's wife. He's a hard worker. I think what she say? he likes to fish. She's a hard worker. I'm guessing her grandfather liked to fish. And that would have been why that was brought in. But I also wonder about the songwriting process for something like this. Like the person who wrote the song. Some people like to write the music or maybe the basic melody and then the lyrics get brought in later. I'm guessing the lyrics started this one off and then the person who wrote the lyrics, whatever their favorite instrument is, they probably wrote the melody on that. But then you've got to decide, and this is the songwriting genius for songs that work, what instruments are you going to bring in? What instruments are you going to leave out? I mean, you could say, all right, let's consider bringing in these 12 instruments. And then you start kicking them out, so to speak. Oh, no, we're not going to use an accordion. No, no, we're not going to use a third guitar. Oh, no, we're not going to use an extra drum set, whatever. But you get input from the other band members, and they come up with things that could accompany whatever you've come up with. And that is a a fascinating part of the art to me because I'm not a I would be a lyricist if I were to and I have written a couple of hundred songs but I haven't done anything with them but I do like words but as far as the instrumentation goes you rely on other people to bring those in and you do too to an extent with lyrics but not as much as the instruments and uh it's just beautiful so oh where am I going to rate this I love her voice too it isn't just that she could carry a tune which she can but she doesn't try to steal the show with her voice. And I admire that very much. Like I look at restraint when I look at life. I don't look, look at loudness or getting out there as much or whatever. There was a line early in the song where she just stopped after she said the word that she sang. I don't remember what it was, but she stopped. And that's restraint. That's professionalism. That's understanding sort of what you're trying to communicate. And uh, she, you know, she's going to get better as she gets older, too. She's young, but she's not that young. I mean, she knows her craft. All right. The heart behind it, 
they get such good sound quality too, which some of you folks have said it's not hard if you have a really good engineer and who understands the sound, which they clearly do. To get that kind of sound outdoors is incredible. Uh, you know, the number that popped into my head was a 9.0. And that's what I'm going with. It's just, it reeks of beauty. That's what it is. It just reeks of beauty. It's just, it. there are good parts going on in this world. Some good things going on in this world. And when I see something like this, it just, you can relish that for a time. So there it is. All right, folks, leave your comments. I'll see you on another video. Have a great day. Keep rocking the country and bluegrass. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video of Hey Grandpa. I actually wrote this song last year about my grandpa and he was one of our biggest fans and he's the reason I decided to play the fiddle growing up and he taught us all how to fish and how to drive and how to love bluegrass music and we got to come to Mountain Grove, Missouri today to shoot the video in front of the barn here where my mom grew up and where we got to come back and visit our whole childhood so it's been super special to us and uh, yeah, we hope y'all enjoyed the song and we'll uh, see you in the next video.